Hey y'all, how are you doing? So, I'm still basking in the love and the love and the joy for my birthday two, two days ago, which is the theme of my video of my vlog today. It's about love. L-O-V, 1987 love, right? Let's talk about love. Anyways, today I'm go I want to speak about receiving love, receiving love. So this is a topic the Lord worked with me a lot about um, for years now, for years. I think I, I, I started really, really, really learning how to receive love in my mid-twenties, right? Because like many people, like maybe you was listening to me, <laughs> I didn't know how to receive love, right? People would shower me with love and each time I was thinking, I'll be thinking, who's not giving me love? Who, where is the love not there? Why are they loving, why are they not loving me the way I want to be loved, you know? <laughs> so, it's very important, I realize, um, because you can even be successful. You see that, you know, artists, um, people who have reached, like, the zenith of their career. But to, at that point, they still are not able, capable, or allowing themselves to receive love, when you receive a compliment, when you receive blessings, when you receive prayers, when you receive life injected into you, how do you receive it? Do you receive it? Alright? The reason why I'm so overjoyed is because I actually took the time to receive all the love that you guys gave me. I received it. In the and you know when you receive it, like, you let it, you let your heart soak into it, you know? Like, when I receive the thank yous, the blessings, the love, the, you know, people taking time to write, to do all these different things. Anyways, whatever expression it is, I allow my heart to receive it. And it just makes my heart larger, you know? It makes my heart larger, fuller, you know, more joyful, and I just... What I feel inside is like, I just want to kiss you. Like, I just want to hug you, like, from the depth of my soul and just say thank you. And so the morning of my 33rd birthday, I was just praying to the Lord, Lord, bless every single person who gave me a word, who gave me even a cup of water, a candy, whatever it is. You know, that brought me to today. Bless them. You know them. And he brought because, you know, that's that's the cycle of life. It's love. Giving love, not but not just giving love, but receiving love. And so, um, three or four months ago, you know, because 32, I can say 32 year, 32 was really the year of getting prepared, being grounded, being rooted. The Lord wanted me to allow things to sink in. So in July or so, um, during one of the praying rites um, session here, you know, the Lord came and manifested himself to us. He ministered to us. And what he told me three times, it was, I love you. I love you. And as I was going, you know, with the, with the time, with the weeks, I, I was like, Lord, what's the next step? What's the this and that? He kept telling me, I love you. And... You know, I was like, yeah, 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 you love me, I know. Jesus loves me, you know, God loves me, you know. I, I, yeah, I know. But he really wanted me to allow it to sink deeper. And I know this is one of the truths that it takes an entire life, right, to keep sinking in. <laughs> but what I understood is that without that foundation of love, you know, without allowing love to sink in, everything you build on, it would just be, you know, pala pala as they say in French. It will not have a solid foundation. And so even in loving others, you have to allow yourself to receiving love from others, from your spouse, from your children, from your friends, from your parents, from your sisters, from your brothers. Allow yourself to receive. So that's what I want to share today. That's what I want to share today. Sometimes it makes the huge difference between your perspective of life. Because sometimes you think, oh, I'm not receiving the love. Whereas you have people around you that are giving you love. Maybe not the way you want to receive it, but they are. 
you know receive the love from your helps receive the love from your cousins from your 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 colleagues there is love god is pleasing people who have so much love for you acknowledge it receive it accept it digest it it is good it is sweet it is nice it is joyful soak in it ah i don't even know how to explain it soak in it <laughs> receive the love and receive the love from me today in jesus name amen and of course i'm going to pray i'm going to pray let us pray heavenly father abba father you who is my father our father in the name of jesus today we pray lord father god i pray in the name of jesus that you will release your love in the heart of the person listening to me right now holy spirit i pray that you open the eyes of their heart so that they may see the way you love them and the way the people you placed in their lives love them lord give them the grace to receive your love give them the grace to receive love from others to soak into it to appreciate it to treasure it to cherish it Lord, open the eyes of their heart, open the, the venues of the heart to receive love. In Jesus' name I prayed. Amen. 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 I love you.